Hey, my name is Ralph and I'm with Flex Film, and today I have an experiment that you can try yourself at home to possibly determine if your window film has dye in it. Some of my friends have even accused me of being a mad scientist, but I'm not a scientist, I'm just mad. Okay, we all know dye fades. That's not even debatable. We also know that people pay extra to see dye fade in clothing like blue jeans and t-shirts. They actually don't pay extra for it to fade in our window tent. See, I have a hypothesis. If we can determine if there's dye in our window film, then we can reasonably assume that the dye is not protecting our raw materials adequately. We can also reasonably assume that the dye in our window film is limited on solar benefits. And we can also reasonably assume that dye will cause fading. You see, I've been around a long time, and I've seen purple tent jobs, and I've seen faded tent jobs, and I know from that that dye fades. But see, if we really want to know if dye's in our window film, I've got an experiment that you need to check out. Okay, here in front of me, I have two different solvents. I have one that's MEK, and I have one that's MEK substitute. This one was bought online from a chemical company. It's very expensive, and I went through a lot of hassle, filling out a lot of paperwork to get this to come to my door. This one right here, I walked into Home Depot, spent like $10, and presto, I got it. I conducted experiments. I got the same results out of both products. It was a little faster with the MEK than it was with the MEK substitute, but not that much different. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to share some conclusions with you that we have from the um, solvents that we've been using with our window films. Everything here is either dyed film or ceramic, and most of these uh, glass jars have Kool-Aid in them from the dye that bleeds out of the film. And uh, it certainly bleeds out over time, usually about three days, uh, sometimes even a week. It, it takes time for this to occur, but, you know, be patient. You will get this uh, Kool-Aid effect if your film does seem to have dye in it. That's the results I've been getting. But I want to point out a few things. These uh, two uh, glass jars on the end contain my OmniFlex 5%. I like to use 5% samples because they have a lot of dye in them if there's dye present. And I've done one sample where I have put just a sheet of window film in there about the size of well, my, what I'm holding up here. And I got the obvious dyed product to bleed out and make a Kool-Aid. I did the same exact product with 5% where I cut it into small squares. I got a more concentrated Kool-Aid mix in this one. And then I took uh, a product like my Panaflex, which is known not to have any dye in, in it at all, and I got no dye, no, no change, very clear solution. Even though my product looks like it's been uh, dissolved in the solvent and, and some of the polyesters and the adhesives are just, uh, just dissolving. Um, this film right here is within the, was the, the real MEK and it also is my new, I haven't launched yet, it'll be launched in another week, August 14th, uh, of my new carbon product, which again has no dye in it, and it is clear as it can be. Here's my Panaflex 5%, which also has no dye in it. It's also as clear as it can be. Here's my Omniflex 5%, which we know is dyed, and guess what? We have Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah. Now, just for the fun of it, I have a lot more samples. I couldn't fit them all on my table, but I've taken the, the two that have intrigued me the most. This is some leading competitors window film. They claim this is ceramic and this is some of their highest end film they sell. And um, I wanna share with you what I found when I did my experiment on it. What do you know? Kool-Aid. Oh yeah. Ceramic, high performance, whatever you wanna call it. This IR film is Made with a lot of dye, imagine that. The other leading brand, same exact thing, Kool-Aid. We're, we're, seeing, we're seeing these ceramic technologies and these carbon technologies uh, built on top of dyed film. And I'm getting that um, result when I do these experiments. And what I like about what I'm showing you right now is these are, these are experiments that you can try at home. Go to Home Depot, get you some MEK. Take the release liner up, cut your film up, put it in there, and see what you get. See if your results look like mine. It'd be hard for me to fake something when you can do this yourself. I'd love to hear what your results are. <laughs> okay, one last note. You've gone to the store, you bought you some MEK, now you're soaking your favorite film in it right now, and all of a sudden, it's bleeding Kool-Aid. What are you gonna do? It's your move.